not really. Like it's a big by the cameras and the lights and everything? Definitely. Good. Throw in a hand Okay. Ooh, do I get to snap it and everything? All right. Hi. Just go ahead and say your name and how you identify. My name is... <laughs> yeah, well, my, my name's Mark Sholfo. Jessica Alalawi. I am Ari. My name is Victor Lu. Nas Alalawi. Identify as non-binary. Non-binary. And I identify as a queer individual. Also refer to myself as a capital Q queer. And I identify as a trans woman. 57 years old, gay white male, I guess. My pronouns are they, them. They're tattooed on my wrist. <laughs> Was there a significant memory or time in your life where you realized that maybe you were a little bit different from your people that were around you. I knew that I was trans since I was a very young child. I really came to my queerness slowly, if not in actions, then in understanding. Having feelings for other men and I didn't know how to express it and the way I was raised, I felt it was wrong, and I was, and sometimes I still do have like a bottle within me. I grew up in the Midwest, and it was tougher growing into my own identity when I was there. Growing up in, in Singapore was very, very challenging because you cannot be gay at that time. I didn't have anybody that to look to, to be like, okay, if I don't think I'm trans, and I don't, I know I'm not cis, and I don't know where that is in the middle. We don't have the words for that. I didn't have the words for that until I was in my teenage years. And by that time, I was scared to be trans. And at that time, I went to a shay, which is like a priest, to talk about my feelings. I almost was killed because of it. There were people that were beaten, bashed in Minneapolis when I was growing up there. I think being a minority as well, given that I'm a Southeast Asian of Chinese descent, I, I want to say barriers and discrimination as a gay person, gender non-conforming in individual as well as an immigrant. Would you say since coming here, do you feel generally safe in Washington or in Seattle? Where I'm from, we get prosecuted. It's illegal and outcasted to be just who we are. When I actually arrived to Seattle and I started living here and I started seeing people living out and proud, that moment when I was like, you know what, this is just me and it's okay to be who I am. I think that's challenging. I, like a lot of people, came to Seattle specifically because I think Seattle is sort of understood to be a safe space, particularly for the LGBTQ plus community. Personally, myself, I feel pretty safe. People don't try to pick on me. I'm not an easy target. And I get that, it's part of my privilege. When I look at other states and the more than 500 anti-trans bills in America right now, I'm glad that those bills aren't necessarily coming from my state. Does that make me feel safer in America? No. Does that make me safer in my home? A little bit, yes. What do people you know, generally get wrong about the LGBTQ plus community? We're seen as this monolith and that it's so inaccurate. People may just see a small slice of it and think that's what it is. And it's so much more rich. There is already a connectedness of identity and culture. And we just humans, we just people like you and we just try to live our lives. Do you feel hopeful? Not always, but I can get to feel hopeful because my frame of mind of how I, I, I feel is can be a part of a choice. I do feel helpful. I think the younger generation are not just listening to whatever being told. And I wholeheartedly believe in community and the power of people working together. To me, that is hopeful. I see young people making so much progress. I see the work that they're doing. I see the way that they are able to come into themselves at an earlier age. We just continue to fight a good fight for equity. But whatever you're doing and whoever you are and however you're doing it to support yourself, to keep yourself safe, to keep your community safe, to keep your loved ones safe is, you're doing enough if you're doing that. We are people, we are humans. We love and we would like to be loved.